Good morning, people. Day two with this Google Glass. I'm going to venture out today before Friday prayers to see if uh, I need to go to the petrol station. So see how it is and how people react as well. Okay, I don't know how much of this you can see, but this is the morning view with Google Glass. So let's go down here. It's very interesting. You've got to be careful about what you film. Um, I'm a little reluctant to go down to Abu Dhabi, like in public. I was going to go to the mall today, but I thought I wouldn't because it's just not, it doesn't feel um, UAE friendly. Um, I've been told off in the past for, for filming and um, uh, people came in um, in the in the camera view and that caused quite a bit of a problem so I'm gonna be very very careful I'm gonna to go to the petrol station and it should be quiet streets today so there shouldn't be much of a problem so let's go down here right we need the first floor let's go down to the first floor okay It's interesting, the uh, Google Glass only records um, 10 seconds, I believe, so if we need longer than that, we need to hit the side in order to access it. So, here's our car. This is the Infiniti FX35. I'm sure I've vlogged about this. If I haven't, then, well, I haven't. People are already looking. <laughs> so, hey, hey. Key, let's start, let's start this thing. All right, um, I've actually moved my eyepiece further up, so I shouldn't have a problem. It's not getting in the way of things. Um, I've got to admit, actually, it's quite a nice piece of technology to have um, kind of on display because it means that you can kind of see where you're going, you can see what you're doing. Um, it's got a really nifty, really cool compass feature. Um, and I'll include that in a screenshot right now, um, which is actually really, really nice. It's, uh, you know, I can imagine this, especially in the desert, you know, if I was to take the car out or go out with friends or whatever to the desert, if you were to, then it'd be quite a cool feature to have. I don't know how that would operate. Um, in fact, it does work without the data services. So that's something. One thing to notice, however, is that when you start Google Glass, you definitely notice, especially when you are recording a video, that it starts to heat up and it's on the right hand side so I can feel and see it heat up on the right hand side. Um, and I'm just going to test how long we can do it for um, in terms of before I kind of get the feel to want to turn it off. But uh, it's interesting so far. Good, good, good. Um, okay, can I order one? Uh, let's see. Can I order two quesadilla sandwich, please? Oh, make it meal with the fried sandwich. No, just two sandwich. Uh, Takeaway, yeah. And can you give me one? Um, Hey, Miss Bela. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so this is day two with uh, Google Glass. Coming up to now three o'clock, and I've spent about two hours uh, reviewing the thing, filming. We just did the unboxing video, which is going up now as well. A um, couple of people have asked some questions, so I'm going to try and respond to these uh, questions now. Um, so someone wanted to know um, how heavy Google Glass was on the face. And uh, it's interesting, it's not that heavy at all. You do notice it on this side, uh, though you kind of feel it there and it's there on that side. So that's something to be aware of. Um, the other question somebody wanted to know was how easy it is to, to do the voice commands through Google Glass. So let me give you an idea. Okay, Glass, take a photo, take a picture. So, it's pretty instant. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, the only thing that I mix up is I say take a photo, whereas take a picture is what comes up with the commands. So that's something that's, you know, something small. But um, other than that, it works perfectly fine. It's really cool when you do things like OK Glass, search for uh, nearest falafel joint to Al Rim Island, which is where we are. Um, it brings up results instantly, like really super fast. Um, so it works really well with the voice commands, but the good thing about this is as well as the voice commands, you actually have the ability to swipe through like I'm doing over here to, to get to what needs to be got to. So you can kind of like go down, go up, and it's all done through this kind of trackpad on the side over here. Uh, the other question I got asked to talk about was about, um, uh, how durable it, it is and it's actually really very durable if I take this off for a moment um, It's this kind of loopy bit here is actually bendable Don't want to bend it too much because it's not mine But it's really bendable and you can move it that way as well And it will bend and it doesn't seem like it's having any negative effect on on the actual build quality Build quality on this thing is superb like, if this is the future of wearable technology, then I'm completely signed up already. Um, it's really good, and it's awesome um, that wearable technology can have more of this incorporated, uh, which is good. So, so that's that. Um, Google Glass has been an interesting experience so far. Another comment that somebody wanted to know about was whether or not I've noticed any negative effects of wearing Google Glass. I have, um, and I talked about this last night, late last night, because I'd been on Google Glass for a while. Um, what's it saying? QR code? No, 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 no. Okay, so um, one of the things that I've noticed, which is negative, okay, let me just get out of this. Come on, get out. Oh, this is another negative aspect, which is that you have to sometimes continuously, like you can't get the motion right. But one of the things that I've noticed is at the back of my head over here, um, I feel this kind of like pulsating. And uh, the other thing is that I have been on Google Glass for a long time. The last 24 hours would not be typically, would not be normal, because I know I've got limited time with Google Glass. I want to try and explore it, do everything as much as I can. So as a result of that, I'm feeling kind of like not normal sensations. The, the most noticeable for me is that when I blink, every time I blink, I almost feel like something at the back of my head, and this is internal, is like kind of like, it, it, it's like going at the back. And um, that's something that surprised me considerably because, uh, you know, that's not a good thing. But I can see a lot of people, when they get Google Glass, they will want to really rinse it out. And there'll be a lot of people that will be kind of, at the initial, you know, whenever you get a new gadget, you use it a lot and it goes up like this. And then it, it kind of plateaus or it goes down and you don't use it so much. But at the moment, the way that I'm using it feels like it just, I'm feeling it, which is really odd. And that doesn't make me feel comfortable. Now, again, Explorer Edition is exactly that. It's exploring, so it's not the final product, it's not the finished product. So as a result of that, it means that things aren't perfect and hopefully Google will find a way of dealing with, with the, the, the concerns and other things. Um, but 
from a health perspective, what worries me, and this is pure conjecture, um, is that with a lot of use of glass, I wonder what that's going to do to people's health. This up here doesn't feel healthy. Essentially, it's connected to Wi-Fi, it's connected to my phone through Bluetooth, so there's a lot of antennas going on over here, and that makes me feel a little concerned. Uh, another comment that somebody wanted to know was how good or how bad is the battery life? Unfortunately, the battery life on this, for me so far, has been really bad. I'll give you an example. I charged it up 100%, um, and it was left on charge for about 15, 20 minutes after that 100% marker was met so I don't know if it was drain or whatever but 100% take it out two four six six minutes worth of filming and it went down to 42% battery so I come back charge it up again um, just normal day-to-day -day, no filming just kind of like okay Google do this that the other um, and notifications tweets and it was charged at 100% and it dropped down to 76% and that was with about an hour worth of that so you know battery isn't great but again hopefully Google will fix that and somehow incorporate it would be awesome if they had some kind of motion battery generating system whereby you know because you move your head a lot I move my head a lot so it'd be awesome if it could generate um, a battery from that um, so yeah it's kind of we'll see all these things if they can be panned out then I think this is an awesome product I think it's an awesome concept. The fact that Google has pumped in millions, if not more, billions uh, into this project is commendable. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice, it's a good thing for technology to kind of take that leap. Um, but this is a result of all that hard work and effort. And so far, it's, it's, it's a good starting point. But is it like the finished product? There's no way it's a finished product. I, I think a lot of people will get it in this current form and will say, oh, you know, and it's limited to what it can do. So it needs to open up to developers. It needs to open up to, to markets and things like that. There's a lot that still needs to be done, but what's been achieved so far is impressive. It's amazing. Um, and I think that's commendable. So yeah, that's, um, that's this vlog with Google Glass. Is it the future? What do you think? Would you wear one of these things? That's the other comment that somebody made. You know, would you seriously wear that in Quan? What What would you reckon? Do you, would you wear one of these? Um, if you remove the the cool aspect, the cool factor for a moment, if you think it's cool, um, would you wear it day to day? Would you use it for things um, like checking up notifications without look, having to look at your phone and, and taking pictures and this, that, the other? Um, as always, leave your comments. I'd love to know what you guys think, what you guys feel. And um, yeah, that's a day with Google Glass.